Mattith Yahu, or Matthew, chapter 12, verses 22 through 50. Then they brought to him one who was demon-possessed, blind and dumb, and he healed him, so that the blind and dumb man both spoke and saw, and all the crowds were amazed and said, Is this the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This one does not cast out demons except by Beelzebul, the ruler of demons. And Yeshua knew their thoughts and said to them, Every rain divided against itself is laid waste, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. And if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. How then does this rain stand? And if I, by Beelzebul, do cast out demons, by whom do your sons cast them out? Because of this, they shall be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the spirit of Elohim, then the reign of Elohim has come upon you. Or how is one able to enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods, unless he first binds the strong man, and then he shall plunder the house? He who is not with me is against me. And he who does not gather with me scatters abroad. Because of this I say to you, all sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven men. But the blasphemy against the Spirit shall not be forgiven men. And whoever speaks a word against the son of Adam, it shall be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the set-apart Spirit, it shall not be forgiven him, either in this age or in the age to come. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree rotten and its fruit rotten. For a tree is known by its fruit. Fruit of adders, how are you able to speak what is good, being wicked? For the mouth speaks from the overflow of the heart. The good man brings forth what is good from the good treasures of his heart, and the wicked man brings forth what is wicked from the wicked treasure. And I say to you that for every idle word men speak, they shall give an account of it in the day of judgment. For by your words, you shall be declared righteous, and by your words you shall be declared unrighteous. Then some of the scribes and Pharisees answered, saying, Teacher, we wish to see a sign from you. But he, answering, said to them, A wicked and adulterous generation seeks after a sign, and no sign shall be given to it, except the sign of the prophet Jonah. For as Jonah was three days and three nights in the stomach of the great fish, so shall the son of Adam be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Men of Nineveh shall stand up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it because they repented at the preaching of Jonah and look, a greater than Yonah is here. The sovereignness of the south shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. For she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Shlomo. And look, a greater than Shlomo is here. Now, when the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places, seeking rest, and finds none. Then it says, I shall return to my house from which I came. And when it comes, it finds it empty, swept, and decorated. So it goes out and takes with it seven other spirits more wicked than itself, and they enter and dwell there.
and the last of that man is worse than the first. So it shall also be with this wicked generation. And while he was still talking to the crowd, see, his mother and brothers stood outside seeking to speak with him. And one said to him, See, your mother and your brothers are standing outside seeking to speak with you. But he, answering, said to the one who spoke to him, Who's my mother? Who are my brothers? And having stretched out his hand towards his taught ones, he said, See, my mother and my brothers, for whoever does the desire of my Father who's in the heavens is my brother and sister and mother.